All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vion in Dispatch. Imran Khan's chief of staff, Sheikh Vazgil, has been sent to judicial custody. The court has rejected the plea seeking an extension of his police remand. Now, Gill, remember, was presented in the court after two days of police remand, which has now been ended today. Imran's aide claimed that he was tortured in police custody and has also added that his medical examination was not conducted. Now, the Pakistan Tehreek in Saf leader was arrested on Tuesday from Islamabad's Bani Gala Chok for allegedly trying to create a division within the Pakistani armed forces. McGill has been booked in a sedition case under several sections of the Pakistan Penal Court, including sedition, abetting, mutiny and also attempting to seduce a soldier from his duty, intent to cause a rioting, promoting enmity between different groups, etc. The statements conducive to public mischief and punishment for criminal intimidation, amongst others, are some of the charges that have been levelled against him. Now, during today's hearing, the transcript of Gill's remarks were read out before the court. The prosecutor argued that an attempt to incite the rank and file of the army against the leadership had been made by him and added that further investigations need to be done. Now, on Thursday, Islamabad police also arrested the wife and relative of Gill's driver in a raid on charges of writing and assault on law enforcers. The police had conducted the raid to recover the PTR leader's phone from his driver's residence, during which the family members allegedly resisted and also attacked the police personnel. Now, this is the police said that Gill is not giving access to his mobile phone or to his laptop. Now, the prosecutor further stated that the investigation had earlier sought the remand to probe into the transcript of Gill's remarks, and now they want to dig further and see as to who had produced the program in which he'd made those contentious anti-army remarks. The prosecutor further added that a high-profile polygraphic test has to be conducted on the accused. And our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has been tracking this story very closely for us and has sent us this report from Islamabad. Listen in. Drama in Pakistan continues over the arrest of Shehbaz Gil, Imran Khan's chief of staff, who was arrested on the 9th of August. Today, earlier in the morning, his remand, remand ended and the lower courts have not given police another remand, another custody. In fact, uh, he was given into judicial remand or judicial custody. That meant that he would be shifted to the jail. Uh, the police went into appeal against that. That did not hold as well and now Shabazz Gill will be moved to a jail. Now police have maintained that they are yet to recover uh, his phone through which this statement was made. Shabazz Gill on the other hand has said that it was done through a landline. The police say that all those who have been involved or those, in, uh, those people who are uh, managing his Twitter account as well, their accomplices in this crime and they will be taken to task and all those associated in the in what they believe was a conspiracy behind this statement this anti uh, uh, anti military statement that was made they all will be taken to task anas malik in islamabad pakistan for beyond world is one beyond is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news on the move